Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the mean, the median, the mode and the range. Uh, so this video will be divided into two parts. In the first part we'll discuss all the different concepts and in the second part we'll look at some example questions. Uh, so first of all, the mean, the median and the mode are all different types of average and the range is a measure of spread of the data. Now the first skill that we'll look at is finding the mean. So here we have a set of numbers. Uh, so we've got 4, 10, 12, 12, 15, 17, 23 and 28. So to find the mean, uh, the equation we use is the mean is equal to the sum of the items. So we add them all up and then we divide by the number of items. Uh, so the sum of the items in this case is just the sum of all the different numbers and the number of items is uh, the number of numbers that we have. So our calculation is therefore 4 plus 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 15 plus 17 plus 23 plus 28 uh, divided by the number of items, so that's the number of numbers, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you simplify that, that becomes 121 divided by 8, uh, which gives us a value of 15.125 for the mean. So the main advantage of using the mean uh, is that it uses all of the data. Uh, so we used every number here in our calculation. Uh, but the main disadvantage is that it's highly affected by outliers. Uh, so for instance, if we had the number 45 on the end of our set here, and we included this in the value, or in the calculation, sorry, then this is likely to increase the value quite drastically. Uh, so the next skill that we'll look at is finding the median. Uh, now the median is also referred to as the middle value and that's because that's exactly what it is. Uh, so if we look at the same set of numbers as before, sorry, where is the middle point uh, in this set of numbers? Uh, well there's eight numbers, so the middle point, uh, if we divide the set so that there's four numbers on each side, we can see that the middle point is between the, 12, uh, the value 12 and the value 15. So in other words it's between the fourth and the fifth value. So whenever you have an even number of uh, numbers in your set, you'll always find a median value that is between two other values. Uh, so in this case, the way we calculate the median is we take the average of the fourth and the fifth value. So we add 12 plus 15 and we divide them by two. Uh, so that's 27 divided by two and that is 13.5. So the median is 13.5. Uh, but if we have an odd number of uh, numbers in our set, so let's say we had the exact same set uh, but with the value 29 on the end, uh, then in this case there's now nine values. As if I just rub out this from before, uh, so there's nine values now in our set. Uh, so the median point is the fifth value. Uh, so as you can see, there are four values either side now. So you just take the fifth value. Uh, so anytime there's an odd number of uh, numbers in the set, uh, the median will always be one of the numbers in the set. So there's a formula that we can use to find out where the median lies in the list of numbers uh, and that formula is n plus 1 over 2. So if we had 8 as before uh, then n, n plus 1 over 2 is 9 over 2 so that's 4.5 uh, which means that the median lies between the fourth and the fifth value and then if we have 9 as we do here then the calculation becomes 9 plus 1 over 2 uh, which is 10 over 2 which is 5 and as you can see, that gives us the uh, fifth value for the median. So the third skill that we'll see is finding the mode. And this is probably the easiest value to calculate uh, because you don't really have to do any calculation at all. Uh, all you have to do is find the most commonly occurring value. Uh, so in this case, uh, there's one value that appears twice and that is 12, as you can see there. Uh, so therefore the mode is 12. Now, if there was more than one value, uh, that appears twice, so for instance if we had another value of 28 then we would say that the data is bimodal. So the final skill then is finding the range. Uh, the range is also quite straightforward. Um, all you have to do is subtract the smallest value from the largest value. So in this case you can see that the largest value is 28 and the smallest value is 4. So therefore the range is 28 minus 4 which equals 24. Uh, so as I mentioned at the start the range is not an average, the range is a measure of spread of the data. Finding the mean, the median, the mode and the range is an essential skill in statistics. 
So if you want to get some practice, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find a variety of different question types and loads of different questions to have a go at. You get instant feedback on all of it, uh, so you can keep track of your progress and find out where you need to improve. If you're interested and you want to take the test, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.